find a perfect girl She's from another world She puts a smile on my face And takes me to outer space got something cool for you guys today uh, those of you who own the p4p plus or the p4p plus o which is the obsidian model uh, the plus means you have a built-in monitor on the remote itself and if you haven't figured it out yet as excited as you were to get that thing you can't screen record or at least you're not supposed to be able to it is an Android device so it has to be able to be written to uh, the system has to be able to be written to and I figured that out so uh, I've contacted everybody and nobody uh, nobody could tell me how to do it everybody said buy an external monitor so yeah let's go out and spend a couple hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars whatever you want to spend carry around a bunch of stuff with a tripod I'm not doing it so if you're interested in this, uh, stick around. I'm going to show you how you can make your screen record and also load other apps on to your remote. I do recommend that you put an SD card in your remote. I do not recommend that you do this mod that I'm about to do. I have to say that. I do not recommend it. I'm just showing you what I have done and if you choose to do it, that's on you. If you screw up your remote, that's on you. Uh, personally, I don't see how you could, but again, that's on you. So, here we go. I've got all the instructions written down right here and I'm gonna walk you through them. So let's get, let's get on it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna restart your PC and you're going to, uh, when it starts to come back on, you're going to hit the F8 button over and over and over until some menu options appear. You have the option to save, you go into safe mode, safe mode with networking, blah, blah, blah. What you're looking for is all the way at the bottom, disable drive signature enforcement. You'll select that, hit enter, or however you select it and your computer would, will continue booting up uh, as it normally would. Now, once you get up and going, you are going to need to download a file called adb-setup version 1.4.3. As you'll see right here, I put the link in there. I'll also put it in the description below. That way you can easily copy and paste. Once you have that file, you're going to right click and run as admin. And you'll notice a blue screen pop up. 
It's going to ask you three questions. You're going to answer yes to all three of those questions. You do want to install everything. So what you're going to do is you'll put the letter Y at the end of each one of those questions and hit enter. If I have to explain that to you, then you probably shouldn't be doing this. So, moving along. Okay, so um, now what you have just done is you've installed the ADB onto your system, your computer. You want to make sure that it is there, and the way you make sure is you just go down to start, you go to computer, you go to your C drive, and you should see this ADB folder. You can look inside. What you won't see in there are these two folders, or two files. You won't see these two files in there, so don't worry about it if, you're, if you don't see them. They're not supposed to be there. Which brings us to our next step. We're going to download those files. All you have to do is go to Firefox or Waterfox and we can do a Google search for um, DU Recorder dot APK. So all you got to do is DU Recorder dot APK. Hit enter, and the first one that pops up. There you go. Now you own it. Download that. Make sure you know where you download it to. And then you can do the same for the other one, which is ES Explorer. Rur, rur, rur. There we go. First one, and you own that one too. Click on that and download that. Make sure you know where it's coming up at. And once you have that, what I suggest that you do is right click on your desktop and you're going to create a new folder. And it should look something like this. You can name it whatever you want. New ADB, old ADB, is ADB, was ADB, whatever you want to name it. Just don't name it ADB because you've already got that folder and you will get very confused. So once you have those APK files, you're going to copy those into the C drive ADB folder. So let me break this down for you. You've got them on your desktop in here. And also when you uh, when you downloaded that ADB, you should have also received a file with the Android logo next to it. Go ahead and drag that in there as well. You may not have seen it in your downloads, but uh, go back and look. You'll see it. Drag that in there along with those APK files in that folder on your desktop. And then you're going to switch to the ADB folder in your C drive. And you're just going to either copy and paste or drag those two APK files in, into that uh, C drive ADB file. Now, once they are in there, we, we need to install them into the remote. So, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the micro USB cable into your Phantom 4 Pro and plug the other end into the computer, obviously. Now, once you have that plugged in, go ahead and power on your remote. And if you've just done that, what you've done is you've loaded the remote drivers onto your PC. So what you want to do is make sure that they're in there. Go down to Start, Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Device Manager. Go over here to Ports. Nope, not Processors. Damn, that was a lot of Processors. Go to Ports, and under Ports you'll see... DJI something I forget what it's called but it'll say DJI if it's in there then the driver is loaded on your computer and you're good to go you can exit out of there and now what you want to do is you want to go to the ADB on the C drive just click inside that folder you can click anywhere just a left click 
then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down shift and you're going to right click and you're going to open command window here that's going to open the directory to the adb and this is where we install it so this is a pretty simple command all you're doing is type in adb space install space uh, du recorder du recorder dot apk or whatever your file name is called it may not be the same as mine it may be du recorder dot one point one point four point x point whatever so whatever it's named that's what you're going to type in there or you can just rename it to uh, look like this so yeah boy I messed that one up anyway you get the point not Roo recorder it's do recorder so let's go back and change that there we go now once that's in there do not hit enter do not I know I know some of you have already hit enter don't hit enter if you have you got to go back and retype all that in here's the fun part now grab your remote you want to turn it off once your remote is turned off and you have that typed in there and make sure you're on that make sure you're not looking at something else you've got to be on that ready to hit enter so what you're going to do is power on your remote and when you power on your remote you're going to hear the startup sound when you hear that startup sound you're going to start counting you're going to count to 14 and you're going to hit the button you're not going to go 12 13 14 enter it's going to be 12 13 enter so you're going to hit enter on 14 so it should go like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen enter if you've done that correctly you'll see that it loads some files and it says success if you've not it'll say failed and you get to do it all over again if you have been successful then it's time to move on to the next file and install that so you're going to turn off your remote you're going to go back to your command prompt and instead of saying du recorder it's going to say es explorer es explorer -er. do not hit enter i know some of you have hit enter again even though you jacked up the first time all right we're not waiting on you we're moving on again with your remote off go ahead and turn it on and as soon as you hear the startup sound you're going to begin to count one two three four on 14 hit enter again and now you have just loaded the second app the first app was your screen recorder the second app is a file system uh, I'm sorry a it's a it's a file system that's gonna put all your files in one place so that they're easier to find all your recordings your images your audio files all of your remote system files it's all gonna be in one place it's gonna be nice you don't have to go around hunting for them super important now if everything was a success go ahead and unplug the remote reboot the remote and enjoy your new apps make sure you go in to your recorder and go to settings inside the recorder and you set everything up you can set your resolution your audio uh, this and that so just go in there take a minute to set everything up properly that way it's working good for you when you go out uh, that way you don't miss a minute of recording I definitely suggest at least a 64 gigabyte card. I use the Sandus Extreme uh, to throw that in your remote. And I use a 128 gigabyte uh, Extreme inside the drone itself. So 
Hey, I appreciate you stopping back by CBD. I hope I've helped at least one of you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If I can help you out, I definitely will. And until I see you next time...